Money will flow non-stop after reading this psalm. This is going to bring financial restoration in your life. If you desire financial breakthrough, this is specially for you. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new here for the first time, you are so welcome. My name is Pamela. So in this channel, I share spiritual tips, messages, tips that will help you greatly, drawing you closer to God, teaching you the right prayer to pray at the right time. And you applying your faith, believing that things like this will work for you. You see it working perfectly, just like a magic. So if you love spiritual tips, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on the bell so that whenever I upload videos, you get notified and come and watch. So like the title says, this is going to bring financial restoration in your life. Be it you want to restore what you have lost, or you desire people to favor you in anything you ask for. By the grace of God, you see it working. Like, this is by reading some Psalms. If you check all these psalms I'm going to share with you, you see that it's going to be a blessing to you and opening your eyes, making things to be easier for you. At the end of this, you will notice a lot of improvement. This is also for those that are lacking. If you are lacking one or two things in your life, at the end of this, you benefit so much. So you have to read these psalms at midnight. I love midnight prayers so much. Like midnight time is from that 12 a.m. 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. at midnight. This is the time that everywhere is calm. There's no distraction. I love it a lot because anything you ask for, by the grace of God, God will answer you. And this is the time also that you need to rise and fight. Fight spiritual fight. Like I know the battle is for God. But this is the time to arise. Increase your spiritual life. It's going to increase your spiritual strength, making you to be firm. And whosoever that plans evil for you will never succeed and get you. So this is also the time to arise and recover what you have lost. Anything that you are seeking, anything that they have taken away from you spiritually, it will be recovered by the grace of God. Evil usually happen around midnight when people are asleep. This is the time that they take advantage of innocent people because they know they are asleep around this time. So if you form the habits of once in a while, waking around this time to pray, you will find things easier in your life. Like people that always complain, things are not working, no matter what they do, no matter what they try, that is not working. Have you tried midnight prayer? Have you tried to do anyone at all? Even if you try once, do not quit. Continue with consistency, you will see everything working. Midnight prayers will help to get rid of fears. It eliminates fears from someone's life. If you are always afraid, any small thing you are afraid and shaking, you have to know that this is a way that the enemies will penetrate into your life if you are always afraid. So let me go back to the topic of this video. You have to do this at midnight so that anything you desire will start flowing in your life. So these passages I'm going to be sharing with you is mainly for financial restoration. It's going to increase your faith and making you not to labor more. Like you will not labor and labor in vain. The first thing you have to have in mind is before... You seek for any financial help from God. Maybe you are looking for financial breakthrough. Always have it in mind that there is more blessing in giving than to receive. Have you tried giving anyone? Have you tried releasing your hand? Like giving out. If you have not tried, that means you are, you are just starting. Because God loves it so much. God loves giving. Even if it's a little, you may say, I don't even have what to like give someone. You may say like that, but that particular thing you have, somebody is looking for it. Even if it's just a little thing like this that will touch the life of someone, you don't really need to start giving to the rich. No, you, you see someone that you are better than. Even if it's just a little thing, you have done great. So in Luke 6 verse 8, it says, Give and it shall be given unto you. A good measure, pressed down and shaken together, and running over will be poured into your lap. Whatever thing you give out, that is how you receive it. And you even receive it double. Anything you desire will start coming to pass. Because God already knows that you have given out, that you always give. So if you open your mouth to ask for anything like money, restoration, anything like that will come into your life, God will just start doing it for you. You also have to know that God cares most about your soul about your heart, about your character. No matter what you have in life, no matter how rich you are, your heart, your, your soul is what God wants. How is your character? God cares most about your character. 
how you are treating the fellow person. How are you behaving to people around you? You don't come and behave anyhow to people, hurting someone's feeling, treating people bad, you know, scamming people, and come back and start praying to God to give you this, to do you this, to give you another life, to sustain your life. Have you thought of that? Your relationship with God matters most. So when you know that your heart is pure, your character is you know, intact, anything you desire with just a little faith, you see everything working. You know, that money you desire will start flowing, flowing. You will not even be able to control the money that will be flowing into your life. It's only God that grants wealth. He grants wealth without adding any sorrow into it. No sorrow will be attached to your wealth. So whatever thing you are doing, the only thing God asks is your clean heart, your character, your soul, how you are treating people. Before you ask for financial favor, you know, give out. Even if it's just little, you have to sacrifice. You know, even if it's just little food you have. You see someone that is more hungry than you, share with that person. Sometimes you just see a poor, just give out. Bless that money before giving out, of course, because you don't know who is who. So these Psalms will really help you so well to help you to, you know, like reset your memory and making things to start working perfectly. If people have cast a spell upon you or shams, making things not to work for you, making your thoughts to divert to another place, as making you not to succeed, at the end of this, God will redirect you to the right place. Okay, anything you desire, maybe you want breakthrough, you want to start up a business, you want to do this, you see that different good thoughts will be coming your way and it's going to favor, it's going to be a blessing to you. It's Psalm 112 verse 3. Yes. He says, Wealth and riches will be in his house, in the house of God, in your house, if you believe. And his righteousness endures forever. Yes. His righteousness endures forever. When you are righteous, when you are doing the things of God, Money will flow in your house, in your own house. God will multiply you anything you are doing. So another one is Psalm 34, verse 10. The young lion lacks and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. If you are always seeking God, doing His will, you know, doing what God wants, you will never lack. You see that people will just be favoring you. Any spiritual work you do, it will just be working, working, working. Another one is Psalm 1 verse 3. It shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever it does shall prosper. Anything you do will prosper. Okay, if you plant anything, it will never wither. This is spiritual way, okay, like spiritual terms. What it means by planting and your leaf will not wither, is that instead of dryness in your life, you will never run dry. If you are successful already and you are doing the things of God, you will never go down. If you try any spiritual work, it will work for you. So another one is Psalm 118 verse 25. So this is the word of God and it's full of powers. Just meditate with it. Follow accordingly and you see things working perfectly in your life. Oh Lord, I pray, send now prosperity. This is the time to channel your prayer. Tell God that you have searched your heart. You are doing the right thing. You are giving out. Tell God, send now your prosperity. This is the time to favor me financially. That you need to succeed in life. That you want this. You don't want to lack in any way. That you have said it that you can never lack. That you should send now prosperity. You should send people. Anyhow, is going to do it. Because God's way is not our way. That you should make a way where there seems to be no way. Send now your prosperity. So you can also use all these verses with spiritual work that consigns money. Okay? And you see it working perfectly. As long as that spiritual work is not evil, from evil coven, from evil altar. Do it yourself. With all these verses, you see things flowing perfectly. There are many. I just want to stop here. The last one is Psalm 24 verse 1. And it says, The earth is the laws and all is fullness. The world and those who dwell Hearing everything you desire is in the hands of God. This world we are living, you can achieve anything in this world. God has given you everything. God has given you the memory. God has given you wisdom. God has given you just sit down and think. Do the right thing. Open your eyes. Say the right prayer and grab all those things that God has given to you. 
everything are yours. If you know you can do the right thing in life, do not hurt anybody. Follow the right way and you see everything. The windows, doors will be open unto you. Favor will be coming your way. That money you desire will come your way. At the end of this, you see that your life will never remain the same. Go ahead and say these prayers. At midnight, burning candle or not, white candle, burning candle or not, say these prayers, meditate with them. Do the right thing. Search your heart. Are you doing the things of God? Is your heart pure? That is what God wants. Your soul, your character, how you are treating people. No evil shall be for you. Before you give out anything, always pray. Tell God to cover that money with the blood of Jesus and no harm will come near your dwelling. So do it at midnight to manifest all money. Money will flow into your life and favor will never cease in your life. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Share this video to everyone. Remain blessed as always. I will see you in my next video.